All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem seven to the power of 100 minus seven to the power of 97. So for my solution, I'm gonna rewrite my problem right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite 100 as 97 plus 3. So I get 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 minus 7 to the power of 97. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 7 to the power of 97 plus 3 is going to equal 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3. And I have this minus 7 to the power of 97. Now from here, notice how both of my terms have 7 to the power of 97 in them. So I can simply factor out 7 to the power of 97, and I get 7 to the power of 97 times 7 to the power of 3 minus 1. And 7 to the power of 3 minus 1 is, well, 7 to the power of 3 is 343. So I get 343 minus 1, which is equal to 342. So I get 7 to the power of 97 times 342. So this is my answer in simplest form. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm gonna start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of eight to the power of x is equal to log 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log eight to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. So I get x times log of eight is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 4, and I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 
log of 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So, going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two threes cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5, or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32, and this is a simple method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes them much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5. And x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you.